Hi, it's Wednesday. That means it's time for another video edition of Widower Wednesday. I'm Abel Keogh, author of Dating the Widower, and uh, today we're going to discuss whether widows and widowers should date each other. Um, this, this topic came up because of an email I got, and by the way, if you have a question you want me to answer on these videos, you can go to abelkeogh.com, that's A-B-E-L-K-E-O-G-H.com, click on the contact button and send me an email, or you can also go with comment below, and I, if you have a good enough question here um, that warrants a video, I would be happy to make a video on it. Uh, but this came in. But this question about whether widows and widows and widowers should date, and what my opinion is on it, uh, came in through email from a widow who has been a widow for six years, and she's kind of recently ventured out into the dating game and finds herself attracted to a widower. Uh, she found my site because you know she had questions on why the widower was acting, you know, on his on his behavior, uh, but wants to know what my opinion is on widows dating widowers, whether it's a good thing, uh, things like that. So. Uh, to be flat out honest with you, I don't have a problem with it. Um, um, if you're a widow and you're dating a widower, you know, you're attracted to a, a widower, that's great. Vice versa, if you're a, a widower and attracted to a widow, again, I have no no, no problem with that. Um, the worry that I have or the concern that I have, it isn't just with widows and uh, uh, widowers, but, I mean, it's really with any relationship, is a lot of times I hear widows and widowers dating and they say, well, it's great because this person I'm dating, you know, gets what I'm going through. They get the grief, they get, you know, the a loss of a, of a spouse and fully agree with that. I think if you were dating someone who was widowed and you're, and you yourself are widowed, um, yeah, you're going to, you're going to understand exactly, well, more or less, you're going to understand what, the, you know, what that person has, uh, you know, is going through and they have a bad moment, you know, you're going to, you're going to uh, understand it a lot better than someone, um, who, who, who hasn't gone through it. Uh, my concern with widows and widowers dating each other is that by saying they get it, um, they're looking for someone who will, um, who will <clears throat> join them in their grief, so to speak, that, you know, that if someone, and this goes for widows and widowers, someone, maybe they're looking for someone who is looking for companionship or wants companionship and they want to be with someone but they don't want to put their life on hold. Uh, they don't want to give up that grief, so to speak. They don't want um, to put away, to put the past to the side, so to speak, and start a new chapter with someone else. And that's my biggest concern with it is that you say, well, yeah, this person gets it. Well, really, what what do they get? Do they get just the fact that you're losing their spouse? Do they get the fact that you're grieving? And hey, by the way, let's be friends while and we can grieve together kind of thing. Because, um, you know, if you... For, if any of you are familiar with my uh, videos videos on widowers, I do not encourage a relationship with a widower who is still actively grieving, who's not doing his best to move on and start a new chapter. And it's not going to be a perfect, smooth experience, and I understand that and get that. Uh, but really, my advice when dating widowers is is that if he's still looking to the past, he's still looking to you know he's still actively grieving. Um, he can't make you number one because his dead his, you know his dead wife is number one. Um, don't continue the relationship. And my advice for widows and widowers dating each other would be exactly the same. Um, if you're looking to date someone so you can grieve and, I don't know, have the benefits of having a relationship, you're probably doing it for the wrong reasons. If you're doing it because you're really looking for uh, love again the, the a second time and you want to start a new, a new life with someone, that's great. Um, it's great to have something in common with people. But, you know, I'd also advise if someone came to me and said, hey, I just met this girl and we're of the same faith, should we, you know, is that great? I'd say, yeah, that's awesome, but that's probably not enough to decide whether or not you should get married and be in a serious relationship. It takes more than just that one commonality, uh, maybe a, sh a shared faith or a shared interest. You know, if someone came up to me and said, hey, you know, we're the same political interest. That's an I got, Well, that's great. You got something to uh, build upon or, you know, we both like to go outdoors and we like to hike and camp. Again, that's awesome, but you don't want to build a relationship just on that one thing. It's maybe a starting point, but you're going to need a relationship that's bigger and you know and and uh, and uh, broader than that. So yeah, you're a widow dating a widower. That's fine, but I really, you know, uh, or vice versa. I mean, but really take take a step back and look at your uh, motivations as to uh, why are you attracted to this person? Is it simply because they're a widower or a widow and they're going to get what you're going through, or is there something greater there? Um, I don't see why a relationship can't work out if you've both lost a spouse. 
so long as you're willing to, again, put the past to the side and man, focus in on each other. I do know widows and widowers who have remarried each other and they have great relationships. And I also know widows and widowers who have remarried and the thing's blown up within a year because, you know, they got married for the wrong reasons. So, um, yeah, you're a widow wanting to date a widower, great, go for it. And if you're a widower wanting to date a widow, that's fine. Uh, but look past the commonality of shared grief and shared loss and really look, you know, look broadly at that person and see if they're a good match in, in, in other ways. Because if you're building a relationship off one thing, and that is the loss of a spouse, um, doesn't matter. Eventually that's going to get old. You're going to look for other commonalities, something to build. That's not a, that's not a really, that's not the best thing to build a, a relationship off of, um, even if you both lost a spouse. So, um, um, Take a step back, look at the bigger picture. If you're both willing to put each other first, make each other number one, then yes, go for it. Um, sky's the limit, and I wish you the best. This has been Widower Wednesday. Um, I'm Abel Keo. This is Widower Wednesday. Um, if you have a question or comment you'd like me to address, leave it in. You can leave a, a comment below. You can also um, go to my website, Abel Keo, A B E L K E O G H. There's a contact button there. You can send me an email. Um, if you have a question you'd like me to address on these blogs, I am go. I'm happy to do it. And if I've already addressed the question, I'll give you a link to a video where I have answered that. Um, but anyway, I'll see you next Wednesday. Don't forget to uh, to a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next week.